and I told him, you know, don't be scared. Everything's going to be fine. You're going you're gonna to wake up soon, and you're going to feel a lot better. Arizona is heading toward Christmas with 2,500 COVID patients in our hospitals, and the family of one of them, a veteran, says he's fighting for his life with a severe case of COVID pneumonia, and they are running into the problem health experts had feared all along. He needs a life-saving lung machine to keep him alive, but Valley hospitals with the machine are either full or running very low on supply. Emma Lockhart joining us live from Phoenix with this family story. Emma? Yeah, family tells me the 35 year old veteran was healthy with no pre existing conditions. Now, doctors say if he doesn't get on an ECMO machine by tomorrow, his body will start shutting down. I'm really begging that he does get the help he needs because I think he deserves it. He's a good person. Victoria Arviso is heartbroken, waiting helplessly as her brother fights COVID in the hospital. I'm praying to God that if, if there is a machine or a bed in Arizona, then he does get it because he does deserve his second chance at life. Brian Yazzie is in the VA hospital in Phoenix. Arviso FaceTiming him just before he went on a ventilator last week. He just shook his head and um, he waved goodbye. And I told him I'll see him soon and I love him. And um, and that was the last time I did speak to my brother. And now time is running out. Yazi needs to be put on an ECMO machine. The treatment is advanced life support for the heart and lungs. But so far, Arviso says no Valley hospitals will take him. I was informed that um, Banner and Dignity Health have um, have said, yes, we can accept your brother, but unfortunately right now our beds are full. We don't have a machine for him. Banner Health, the largest healthcare system in the state, says it's at capacity for ECMO machines. Meanwhile, other hospitals might be too full or short staffed to monitor patients on one. These machines are pretty full in the valley. And not only does it require one nurse, it requires usually two nurses. Hospital leaders say resources and staff are stretched thin as unvaccinated patients strain the health care system, with doctors now having to choose who gets treatment or not. Meanwhile, Arviso, who was visiting her brother tonight, hopes this isn't the last time she sees him. The doctor asked me um, if I wanted to come spend time with my brother. And that was a scary situation because... When I asked, can I see him, they told me, you know, you can't come in unless it's an end of life situation.